yeah. couple choices really with this shot. He can try and take the cue ball off the two and run up table. That's one option. Option two is to take the two behind the four. Well, he's gone with option one. He's got to get that cue ball behind a color, though. Otherwise, he may be in trouble when he comes to the table. And I don't think he's got behind a color. No, Constantine doesn't look worried. Now Shane will be lucky if he can see this too when he gets to the table again. And this may even be a free shot at the bank. No, he's he's gone for well this might be this might be absolutely perfect. Well, that's why he's Europe's number one. And this manufactured by the poor safety effort from Van Boning. And Shane's having a good look now. Much tougher hit. It looks like he can get through to the cushion here. At speed and into the two with a bit of spin. Well, he's missed it. And Foul ball in hand. And what's worse is look where he's put the nine. Two nine combination. It's going to be 2 1 to Europe in one shot. Couldn't have worked out worse. So Van Boning's first opportunity to steal the breakaway has not worked out at all. Nine ball down. Stepanov keeps his serve. Goes up two to one. And it will be Shane Van Boning's break when we come back to the table. And boy, Team Europe supporting their man out there on the floor. All in attendance and You look on the American side and Johnny Archer, you'd expect he's probably down on the practice table. He'll be the second man to come out for Team America. He'll be opposing Tony Drago. Profile of this young gun from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. He is the reigning U.S. Open champion, Rack the world four. 10 ball champion. Score is 2 1. He just Team won Europe the Reno Team Open, runner up in the BCA Open. There's not much he hasn't done on American soil to date. What a, what a year he's had. <laughs> he's got player of the year honors in the USA wrapped up. But he is really being put to the test here is first ever Moscone Cup first of many you're going to see this man representing the USA possibly from this year on because his best is very likely yet to come cue ball Foul. what a nightmare ball start ahead. for Shane Van Boning in this singles match Already trailing 2-1. That cue ball was not kicked straight into the corner pocket off one cushion. And as calm and cool as Shane is, he has to be concerned with the way this has started out. Yeah, this is not good at all because now with if Constantine wins this, he'll be up three to one and breaking. You have to believe that Team America feels like they're about as fortunate as one of Michael Vick's dogs. <laughs> Not all that lucky. Well, Jerry, I can tell you, as he looks right now, the problem ball is the orange five right here. But the good news for Constantine is look where the four is in close proximity. So he can develop that five. And he'll be looking to leave himself a nice angle on that four to do just that. Well, he's a little straight on this three. That's going to make it a bit more difficult. It's going to be all speed control. But he's on the line. He should be able to draw this straight back to the middle of the table, and he's going to have the angle that we've alluded to already. And that's perfect. Play this at speed, bump the five off the cushion and try and drop onto it. Every chance here. The one mistake would be to try and cheat this pocket too much because these pockets will not take a cheat. With control and precision. Europe's number one.
looking to get Europe one step closer. I watched him play in the World Cup of Pool back in Holland a few months ago, and I, for one, didn't think this man had the character. I didn't think that he was going to be near the force that he has become in the Moscone Cup. He looked very edgy, very nervous to me there, and I thought if he was nervous in that event, that doesn't hold a candle to the Moscone Cup, but he has been a model of consistency and focus and an inspiration for the rest of the team. Yeah, he has played well, but don't ever write Shane Van Boning off. He can certainly come back. The man knows how to put balls in pockets. Oh, I'm not writing him off, Jerry. Not by any stretch, but I'm just alluding to how this young man has justified his selection. Ooh, well, he got a, a real fortunate kick off the nose of that pocket right there. He could have been dead on the rail. Instead, he's given himself a little room. A tester, to say the very least. And he's missed it. First sign of nerves in this particular match from Stepanov right there. Tried to slow roll that nine and instantly he knew he mishit it. Strange because I didn't see him jump up at all. He looked very still Extension. over the ball. Big shot and an even bigger moment for Shane Van Boning. Does he look calm and collected? He does to me, but what a moment. Inside, it could be a different story. This guy has great basics. And that's the reason he can knock balls in like that under the heat of the Moscone Cup. The South Dakota kid plants a seed of negativity in the minds of Europe. Shane Van Boning allows himself the luxury of a smile. He's normally so controlled that his face is emotionless. Simon right now is with the European captain. Let's see what they have to say. Yeah, with Johan Reisink. Johan could be a big moment. Is that the kind of moment that will worry Konstantin? Well, probably a little, but uh, I mean, things can happen like that. It was the wreck uh, of uh, Van Boning. Right, number five. And he, uh, he won score is two to two. It's only two all. Team if Europe gets breaking. a good wreck in now. Uh, he'll be back on form again. What was the thinking behind putting him in first? Well, I would like him to be uh, there out, out there at 10 9 or something, you know. Uh, leave the pressure off him a little with 9 6 in front, so um, that's uh, more relaxing for him. Were you not perhaps thinking if we go with Tony Drago first, the form he's in, he gets a win straight away, and then you've really got the Americans under the cosh? You know, this is a team thing, and we're going to do this as a team, so uh, that's what we, uh, we're about, doing it as a team today. And you all look very relaxed. How long will that last? Well, that's only looks, uh, I'm up the top of my nerves. I've been there last year, 9 6 in front, and we still lost it, so I definitely want this one to bring it home. Johan, thank you. Well, even after that bad miss on the nine from Stepanov, he controls his own fate here. Still on serve in this match, 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, but this is an ugly table. You've got balls tied up. It's going to be tough to get through. He's got a shot at the one here, Jerry. Tricky into the side pocket and awkward cueing right over that corner. Yeah, and it's a similar distance and, and angle of the shot he just missed. He has to make sure that memory isn't haunting him. Getting on the two ball, Jim. Wow. Not easy. Certainly not automatic. Very good point, though, Jerry, trying to erase the memory of that missed nine. Always the secret of success, having a short memory in this game. Well, he's not going to slow roll this one. Seeing final day nerves and two missed shots in a row. What does that do to your mindset? This is really a golden opportunity for Van Boning. He has got to maintain control of this table now and take this rack. 
When you've got a man on the ropes, keep him there. The four will be the next after this two. He's got to get back over for the orange five, the other side of the table, so. I wonder if he can put enough spin on this, Jim, to, after he makes the two ball to break up that seven and eight problem. He'd love to be able to clip that eight here, Jerry. He doesn't even attempt it. It was too thin of a cut on the two. He couldn't quite take the cue ball into the eight. That would have been perfect. Well, he's got to be thinking now about playing a safety off of that seven ball. I don't see any way to develop it. It's all going to depend on the angle that he leaves himself on the six. He's eyeing up the seven and the eight now. Well, he has the angle now to go down table toward the seven and eight. It would really surprise me for him to try and knock these balls apart now, but I've been surprised by great players before. No, he's just going to slow roll this, try and wedge that cue ball behind the eight. He's just going to bump the seven to the bottom cushion. <coughs> oh, Is I, he? I, I'll tell you what, if he's playing the combination from this Station. angle, he couldn't really have dropped the cue ball any worse. It's got to be a very thin cut on the seven. The, that's what he's measuring. Maybe he feels that the shot is uh, just as tough as the safety. And in that case, you're going to take the aggressive option and take the shot. But he's going for it. I'm amazed at this. This will be some shot. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Used all the pocket, but Shane Van Boning has just pulled out a terrific combination to secure momentum. Can you believe it? How often do we see it, Jim, where a great shot is made and then the next easy shot is missed? You just drop your focus. I'm throwing my eyes away, Jerry, because I've seen it all. That has been the storyline for America. He took the shot with a little too much complacency, thought he had done the hard work, just like the USA, 4-1 after day one, thought that they were home and dry. They weren't. The nine sees Stepanov three two in front. Shock of shocks continuing here in Las Vegas. And Shane Van Boning will have to remember that miss seven for a long, long time. Welcome back to the PartyPoker.net Moscone Cup 14, where this crucial opening match on day four is finally poised. This is rack six, stepping off at the table, and he's in trouble. So close. Yeah, but he's bumped the three back into the tall grass. Watch the three after he hits the two. Cue ball off the side cushion and just bumps the three where it doesn't pass anymore. Well, that's true, but it certainly gives Van Boning a safety where he can really tie Stepanoff up. Safety, smafety, he's going for the shot. Oh, he's, and he, un he's unlucky, Jerry. He tried to get right in behind it to play it to the side, clipped it on the way by, and I don't think it goes. And I don't think that 3-4 combination is on either. Well, big chance for a safety, though. He can fine hit this, and he knows that three is going to stay there. And the path of the cue ball off that three should be able Extension. to come in behind cover. Extension. Yeah, he's got a pretty wide wall there to hide behind. You can see where he just put his cue stick. That's where he wants the cue ball to wind up. It's a thin clip on the three, and that'll leave the three there. And he's got Stepanov kicking again at this. And once again, Stepanov brings out the jump cue. 
He likes that thing. You'll be looking at the three eight combination Jerry. Jumping that's, over the seven. That's tough with a playing cue. This could give Van Boning the opportunity he's been waiting for. And there it is. <laughs> Shane kept gnawing away at him, trying to buy the opening, and finally it arrives. Well, he's a little closer to the rail than he wanted to be because now he can't just draw back for the four. He's going to have to either settle for a longer shot or well, he's going to jack up and draw back anyway. Stun off the head rail, no doubt. I think that's one of the reasons that Shane Van Boning is such a threat and a rising superstar in the world of nine ball is even after that horrific miss in the last rack. You look at his face and his demeanor, it hasn't changed at all. His pace around the table, Jerry. Oh. Well, I guess I just put the commentator's curse on him again. But that pocket, he'd like to take a hacksaw to that pocket after this match. Yeah, that's the same pocket he missed the ball in earlier and just about by the same margin. Van Boning only 24 years old but he's got 20 years of playing behind him. He grew up in a pool playing family with a pool table in the basement. He's been playing since he was an infant. Well, I can't believe the first one was a major shock. I did not expect Van Boning to miss that five there. Constantine Stepanov, the beneficiary of two unforced errors, unexpected unforced errors. It never says how, just who. But a lot of people are going to remember those two misses from Van Boning if Stepanov secures the point here. Well, he, that miss has really inspired Stepanov. He had a couple of early errors. The memory of those errors now erased as he is in control of this match. And should he win, oh boy, Team Europe would be on the hill for the Moscone Cup. And the misses from Shane Van Boning we've talked to. The first one in rack number five, the easiest of sevens. Staying on the table to hunt Van Boning. And then the five into the same pocket. Wasn't as easy as the seven, but you'd like to bet he gets it 10 out of 10. And that sees him to a 4-2 deficit. And the European juggernaut keeps motoring on towards the finish line. I'm going to be curious about this, Jim. I'm Rack going to ask six, Van Boning after this two. match. That does Team not Europe appear to me to be the same shaft that he Team was Europe playing with in the U.S. Open. And I'm wondering if maybe the different deflection on the cue is playing some games with him here. Well, but both shots he played, Jerry, he didn't have to do anything with the cue ball, so he didn't have to spin the white. Shouldn't have been a lot of deflection. Yeah, you're right. The break, rack number seven, four to the lead for Stepanov. Not setting up well for the two ball. Cross table, there's no direct pocket for it. Got a good safety option here, though. He can bank that two ball off the cushion and just into this area. And with the one, or the white ball, sorry, he can run up table with side spin into this area. It's about a half ball hit with a ton of right hand spin. Load it up. It's all about the speed. Well, he just barely makes it by that six ball, but Barely's all right. He has a full block now on Van Boning, and the wall of balls is a long way away from the cue ball. That pretty much 
eliminates the chances for a jump shot. He's going to try and masse around the wall, see if he can make a good contact on that two ball. Oh, he has. Great shot, really. Yeah, you might see the short cube come out here. Well, he dropped his head with the final roll of that two ball. He knows he's left an open shot for Constantine. Long as it may be, it's an opportunity, and that's not what you wish to provide. Although Stepanov is not so sure that he's got a shot. I think he's just got to get over the edge of this nine, so he may even play this with his playing cue. But it's a slight jump shot, Jerry, just over the right edge of the nine as we look. Yeah, he's just going to bounce the cue ball a little bit off the table to clear that edge. Not looking for a lot of height here. Now he needs a roll. He'll gratefully. I don't know. I think that 2 8 just set up. Jerry, I stopped in the middle of my sentence. I think you're exactly right. I think that 2 8 looks to have set up to the combination. The one that could give Van Boning the opening in the seventh rack. Yeah, but he's shooting it into the stepping off pocket. Extension. Not the easiest of combinations given the distance and controlling everything to land on the two, making the shot tougher. Oh, he's not going to be happy. He's not going to be happy. He got the eight, but he has not landed on the two. Yeah, he cinched that eight ball, but didn't pay a lot of attention to the second half of the shot, getting shaped. Nevertheless, he still has control of the table, and that's everything in nine ball. That's a bad hit. That's a miss hit from Shane. He didn't want that to anywhere near the corner pocket. He wanted that cue ball behind colors. This is not the Shane Van Boning that I've come to recognize. Not at all. It looks like a different player, but we've seen it before, the pressure of this event. Gets to the best of them. A great trial under fire. Cue ball. Yeah. Foul. It was always going to be tracking towards that side. Stepping off was hoping he could just spin it enough. He had to play it at that speed to land on the three, and that brings Van Boning back to the table in a much more enviable position. Time will tell if that will shift momentum. There have been a lot of emotional ups and downs already in this match for both players. Almost like a roller coaster. Who's going to get the last laugh in this match? A simple draw back for the six ball. The angle looks severe, but that's fine. It makes it very, very easy to track back across the table for the seven. Normally you don't want to be this straight in, but with the position of the nine ball, no real problem. Just draw back around the area of the side pocket and the nine ball is goner. Took a little bit more time on that seven. I guarantee you there was no way he was missing that one. Similar shot that Stepanov missed. But he didn't play it the same way. Raised the back end of the cue and thumped that nine into the heart of that corner pocket. Gets back to four three. Van Boning still trailing by that one odd rack.
And 9-6 coming into finals day here. 4-3, finally poised in the first match of day four. Can Van Boning try and delay that celebration? Well, he's got a chance to knot it up here if he can just get through this rack. He's made a legal break. Now, does he get a shot on the two ball? He'd like that three to hang around. Wouldn't have minded seeing that stay on the playing surface, Jerry. Then he could have concentrated fully on this two. Now, the long two, he's got to follow through to get down to that pink four next. Well, you can believe he'll take his time. It looks like he may have the angle that in making this two, he can get the cue ball to that side cushion and over here for the four. Just depends on the angle that presents itself right now. That's what he'd like to be able to do, but it's very difficult to tell whether or not he's got enough angle to do that. And that is giving him a difficult two to start. Van Boning bent to the task and he stands up taking another look. He knows the significance of this opening shot. Nice shot. What a shot from Shane there. He came with a big time shot at just the moment. If he can get through this rack and he's got no obstacles now, he's made the most difficult shot. The pressure falls back to Stepanov. The only problems I see are minor, a six ball and an eight ball close to the rail. And he's just gone wrong side of the five, Jerry. You saw him raise his hands. Looks like he's got <coughs> very little angle here on the five. He'd like to have been just a little below it, so he may have to just stop this dead. Well, he pinched the pocket a bit. That was a good shot. Thumped that into the left-hand side of that corner pocket. Made the six a lot easier. As so often is the case, anywhere around center table will be a fine place for this cue ball to wind up. But this is a cut down the rail into the corner, and this is the type of shot that Shane has struggled with today. No struggle this time. Again, he raises his arms in exasperation. It's not the shape he wanted. Just means it's got to be a more controlled draw shot. Doesn't want to bring that side pocket in the equation, and he didn't. And now into the pocket that's haunted him, this eight. No danger this time. That one was anything but center pocket. And the nine into the same pocket, the throat of it to get back to 4 4. Van Boning and Stepanov. What a way to kick off day four. Now we rejoin the action in rack nine with Boning at the table in the middle of a safety battle with Stepanov. Needs a real solid hit here. And gets it, but. The cue ball has leaked out. Not bad, though. He'll take that. Now Stepanov has a fairly elementary safety, sending the cue ball off of the two and then back to hide behind the seven or possibly the five ball. I don't think he got there, Jim. Well, he's having an anxious look. And he hasn't. Quick look at our camera angle. The only problem is for Shane, that cue ball is right near that cushion. And it's going to be tracking down towards that six off the two cushions. So not going to be an easy look at the three. Thicker than he wanted. 
brought the corner pocket into play, but how difficult is this long three? And he's got to thump it in to get the cue ball over the other side of the of the table for the four next. Well, if you've got to come with a big shot, you might have the right guy at the table for it. Absolutely. Van Boning is used to the big shots. Wow. What a great shot from this young Yank. He knows he just played the shot of the match right there. And now he's got to regather himself and lasso those emotions. That shot could buy him a trip to the hill and with the break in the next rack. Every chance. Five colors all in the open. What a shot he played on that three though. Definitely the shot of the rack. Shot of the match to this stage, Jerry, for me. Would have to agree. At 4 2 down. And stepping off with the break. I don't know what you would have given for Van Boning's chances there, but 5 4 in front and breaking. Talk about a reversal of fortunes. Taking two rails out to play the eight. And he is right where he needs to be. To this, to this shot to take Van, Bo Van Boning to the hill. We were fighting over the microphone there. Nice steady stroke required here. Yeah. And the hill arrives. The South Dakota kid, USA number one, keeping American hopes alive. Shane Van Boning now eyeing up his last break of the match. Rack number 10 of a possible 11. Had to keep that cue ball on the table and that. He's trying to will that one into a position where he can knock it in and it does not obey his command. He's hit that with as much power as he can muster. They put him out first for a reason. And to justify that selection, he needs one more rack win. Well, he could get more meat of that one ball than I had thought, and he's been able to play a great safety. Perfect speed. And he's tightening the vice grip here on stepping off in this one. Two cushion escape. Looking for a full contact on that one. He's opened the one up. I really can't see Shane attacking this one. He can knock it in, Jerry, but it does not offer any positional rewards at all. The natural path of the cue ball would go from the one into the cushion and into all those colors over here. 
extension. Well, let me throw this one at you. Since there's no advantage to making the one, and since the table is tied up and rather ugly, why not go for the one nine carom and just hit it hard? Put, put the nine in motion. Ride the nine. I can't see it, Jerry. I think this is going to be a safety. Well, he was listening to you and not I. But he's, he's not hit the one. No, he hasn't. <laughs> Stepanov has an alley here. But he's also not giving Stepanov anything easy with which to try and knock these colors in. Reaching for his chalk very quickly. <laughs> and that was a nice touch on the two. If you're a Konstantin Stepanov fan. Otherwise, Van Boning would have had a look at it. He can still hit this, but he can't pocket it now. No, and I, it doesn't appear to me that he can get enough of that one ball to move the cue ball over behind the seven, eight, and four. He's going to have to go the other way. He went for the shot. And containment will be the order of the day on the two ball here. Can he get that white back down behind those colors? He just took a look at the path the cue ball has. The danger here is the scratch in the corner pocket. He's played it with a lot of spin, and he has played it perfectly. He needs a mistake from Stepanov. It's a messy side of the table, the one the cue ball is on. Well, we're going to see some safeties you know, for a while on this table. Ever since that last miss from Shane Van Boning, He's found another gear with his game here, Jerry. Everything he's done has been perfect. Great hit there from Stevenhoff, but he has left the two completely open, and the cue ball is at the will of Van Boning on this shot. He can. Ty Stepanov right back up behind that eight and seven. Looks like he's going for the cut, Jim. And he is. Well, Shane's got a game plan here. The three is available. The four isn't as we speak. He has to be planning on banking that four ball toward the side pocket and then getting safe behind the seven on this shot. Either that or he develops the seven and eight moves it out. He'll have shape on the six if he does that. But talk about an aggressive choice. He's looking at the bank into the side pocket here full throttle. This is a chance to win the match. You and win? I think he knows it. You win big matches with big shots. And the cheers of elation erupting from the American fans here at the MGM Grand. And now he can eye up that 7-8 combination. One more time, last year America trailed by this same margin going into Sunday and wound up taking the cup home. Shane Van Boning is about to launch America on that same path. Counted on heavily by the American squad and Captain Kim Davenport. And he has not belied that faith. What a player this young man is. To erase the memory of those two bad misses. Just the seven and the nine required. Dead straight on this seven 
and a sarcastic grin from Van Boning. Yeah, Shane feels like he's home. himself all his attention all his focus on this nine eyeing up the path he wants it to take a quick glance at the shot clock 15 seconds listen for the applause it's there Shane Van Boning a 6-4 win will it launch America comeback trail only time will tell but they pull a vital point back 9-7 in the race to 11 the South Dakota kid the reigning U.S. Open champion and a handshake from Kim Davenport well deserved all singles matches on this final day and just the result the USA needed to boost their chances of a miracle comeback the holders now just two points behind the new kid on the block relieved to be showing the form that took him to the US Open title. Shane, thanks for joining us. Were you feeling the nerves early on, particularly this uh, pocket down at the left here? I don't know. I think I got a little quick on that first shot I missed, but, uh, you know, I feel a little confidence after that, you know, come back and beat him. You seem a, a player that doesn't feel the pressure. You don't show much emotion. How do you deal with the pressure of the Moscone Cup? How does it differ to other tournaments you play in? I mean, I just play my game, you know, but, you know, sometimes when I play quick, I play bad. But, you know, if I play the same all the way, I'm going to win. And next up, we've got Johnny Archer against Tony Drago. Tony in terrific form. Johnny struggling. Does your win really encourage now Johnny Archer? I think we're, we're probably going to come back today, you know, but, you know, hopefully we play good and, and uh, good luck.